when you come across a photo, several questions could come across your mind. Questions like, what's happening in the photo? What's the name of the object in the photo? Where was it taken? Who took the photograph? And several other questions. Let's say you stumble across this photograph and you're wondering what this is. Whether it's an animal, what kind of animal is it? What's the name? Where in the world can it be found? How do you even begin your search when you don't even know the name of the object in question? That's when you will realize that it's truly not funny searching when you don't have a keyword. In this video, I will show you how to do a reverse image search just in case you find yourself in such a situation. Before we proceed, if you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed yet, ensure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell button besides it in order to get notified anytime I upload a new video. So let's proceed. When I first came across this image, I was curious to find out what this is, whether it's a living creature or just an amazing work of art. So I did a reverse image search using Google image search and I found out it's a species of lizard called Amadillo Kedo. Reverse image search comes handy when carrying out all scenes. Let's say you came across this guy's photo and you're wondering why he is smiling or what's going on where the photo was taken or you want to know who he is. Well, who doesn't know who this guy is? Let's head over to Google Images and upload the image or paste a link to the image. We've got so many search results, so many visually similar images. Let's see what's here. A YouTube video. Woo. We now know what's happening when the photograph was taken, why he was smiling that way. Well, if you did not know who he is, now you know. Let me show you another great tool you could use to perform reverse image search. A tool called Thin Eye. You can use this tool to search for the places a particular image appears online. You could upload photos of yourself to find out all the places you appear online. Let's upload an image to see how this works. These are search results. Let's visit some of the links. Interesting. The last tool I'm going to introduce to you is a tool called PIM Eyes. PIM Eyes is pretty cool, but just that it's not totally free to use. It has some premium features, which means you have to pay in order to use some features. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Hitting the like button will help make this video discoverable by more viewers who would be interested in the kind of content I create. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.